In this video, I would like to give a short introduction to my favorite additions in the September 2017 update for Power BI, ribbon charts and explain the difference. Both features actively assist the user with analytics as opposed to the user having to do analysis just by gut feeling. Here we're using the default dashboard of the Clear Jelly service for cloud-based accounting, but the feature will work with any dashboard that contains a visual with data using a date field on the axis. So if you're looking at a typical sales dashboard where we see sales over time, um, the typical question that uh, always comes up is what explains the difference between the current months and the prior months? And normally in, in legacy BI tools, you would do this with drill downs and drill across. So you would take the particular item where you have um, a gut feeling that this could drive the difference and drag it uh, into the um, analysis. So let's have a look at how this um, uh, behaves uh, for products. So what are the products that I've sold? And here I can see another difference. I see there's a big share of the uh, train MS product, but it doesn't really tell me uh, that much. So here I can use now one of the new features, which is a, a ribbon chart. The ribbon chart is a stacked bar with a twist because as, as opposed to showing items um, in the same sequence um, on every bar, uh, they're shown um, according to their relevance. So at the moment I can see in this month, um, unassigned was the, the most important one with the highest value, um, but that changed over time. So in the following months, we can see that dropped. And um, I see that another product um, the one here in light purple um, was pretty strong in um, the fourth quarter um, 2016 and then it got better again in the second quarter 2017 so it gives me a very good idea of how things developed over time but it gets better than this so if we go back to the original um, situation here is uh, just the values I can use now a feature that's called explain the difference explain the difference will now analyze the differences between the uh, two periods and show me all interesting aspects in this for example the initial finding is that the key driver was a customer name and uh, the US Ridgeway had a very strong influence on the positive on the increase between the two months then I have a few items that explain the negative side. The next one here is now based on a tracking category, which is a, a custom detail field in this database. And it shows me the strongest driver here are east side, south, and an unassigned item. And then the negative influence is coming from region north. So um, a very helpful breakdown of um, what is driving the difference between different months com completely automatically um, provided by uh, advanced analytics in Power BI. I hope you enjoyed the quick demonstration to discuss um, solutions for your business and how our fast start program for Power BI and Microsoft Analytics work. Please uh, don't hesitate to contact us here in our regional offices. Thank you very much.